Bill and Black. You know what? Empties for Paws does incredible things for our furry friends in our community with all the details right now and how you can help. We say hi to the media coordinator for Empties for Paws, Darlene Sharman joins us. Hello. Hi, Dylan. Thank you. Great organization. It's been around for some time, but but because yes. I've been a part of this, I've been dropping off my empties. Good for you. It's important. How long at this point, Empties for Paws? So it was created in January of 2015. Mm -hmm. And we have over 85 rescues listed on the website. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically it's challenging people to donate all your empties. Anything that you can buy at the liquor store or the beer store uh, can be cashed in for money and used in the uh, animal rescues. Okay, so, so who did, how was this created? What's the brainchild behind all, all of this? It was the founder, Giselle Villeneuve, and she had been collecting her, you know, pennies and small change for Van Valley Animal Rescue in Pembroke area. And uh, she decided, uh, hey, this could be something we could do across the city and so we even have uh, so we are across Ottawa and Valley we're in Ontario we have some listings as well in Alberta and New Brunswick so it mm. can work anywhere and we're hoping to grow continuously across Canada it is on the grow and I have a number here a staggering number of the amount of money that has been raised so far yes. uh, three hundred twenty five thousand dollars and change since 2005 in four years yes mostly from I mean some some out-of-pocket donations but from from people just putting their empties mostly uh, donating from those. the empties and we also have some uh, restaurants in the Ottawa Valley that are on board and donating on a regular basis as mm -hmm. well. So February is Share the Love Month. Yes. Basically to share the love uh, to these amazing uh, animals. So, so uh, how exactly does it work? You, you mentioned uh, empties, but where do people take them? What do they do with them? Okay. So if you have some empties to donate, just go to the website emptiesforpaws.com and go in the tab for Ottawa and Valley and there'll be a drop down so depending where you're located in the city for myself I'm in Orleans so I go to Orleans and it lists all of the rescues that accept empties hmm. and uh, you choose the rescue you want to uh, donate to and there's drop off locations there's also if you can't physically bring the uh, the empties to that drop off location you can arrange through empties for paws at gmail.com to have the uh, rescue come and pick up the empties. Mm -hmm. So that's how the money is distributed then. You, you get to choose in a way where, where it goes? We don't choose. It's the person the that person has the choose. empties. They choose which rescue they want to donate to. And the rescue gets that the empties. They cash it in. And it strictly goes to that rescue. They mm -hmm. don't share the money amongst the rescues. So. Okay. Now there's a, a true environmental initiative to this as well. Not Definitely. only are you helping out animals, but helping out landfills, helping out. So, so talk to us a bit about that. So basically, um, pop cans, mm -hmm. any e-waste, CDs, we've got batteries. So anything electronic, old computers, laptops, uh, the list goes on. There's an initiative, there's two chapters in Barhaven and there's a smaller rescue in the East End. And what they do is they take those recyclables and bring them into the scrapyard for cash. So it's money made for the rescue. Hmm. And we're eliminating a lot of uh, junk in the, in the landfill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And, and you've actually done your own bottle drives yourself? I mean, you've been quite the, quite the uh, volunteer slash employee for quite some time. Yeah, so I'm the media coordinator, but I also uh, support a local rescue in uh, the East End. And I do my own bottle drives, so friends and family know they have to uh, give the, me their empties. Uh, I, I also uh, advertise in the community, and I've got people that donate on a regular basis and um, that money goes straight to the rescue. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you that because you are one of the, uh, the drop-off locations. I mean, do you have story? You must have all kinds of stories of people dropping by with just all of these empties. I mean, where do you put them yourself? My husband Does your garage would... get pretty full? Yeah, the garage is full. My husband is wonderful. He helps me sort through them, bring them back to the beer store, get the money, get the receipt, and I cash it in, bring it to the rescue. Uh, I, I just want to talk about this one more time. I know I, we kind of touched on it. Are there any types of alcohol um, um, containers, bottles that aren't acceptable? Well, basically anything that you can uh, buy at the liquor store or the beer store, uh, even these bladders that are in the mm -hmm. wine boxes, those can be cashed in. Um, so anything that's not that mm -hmm. cannot be cashed in at the beer store. But like I said, there's all kinds of recyclables mm -hmm. that can be ca cashed in at the scrapyard. Okay. 
And of course, all the details at uh, emptiesforpause.com. Canadian Tire Money also is very... Canadian Tire Money can help the rescues as well. Yeah. So if you don't have empties or these recyclables, you have Canadian Tire Money just laying around. You can buy supplies for the, the animal rescues with that. Of course. Now, you don't accept cash donations through the website, correct? Not through the website. You choose the rescue you want to donate to, and you direct the money to that rescue. Okay. I know you have a hashtag as well, hashtag Recycle for Animals. Uh, and if you use that one as well on social media platforms, you'll see some of the amazing stories of people that have come uh, through and, uh, and donated. So, uh, once again, emptiesforpaws.com, that's the place to go to. That's where you go to to find out more about all the drop-off locations, the rescues, and much more. Yes. Wonderful, Darlene. Thank you very much. Nice to have you here. Look at that, empties for paws. Very cool. More daytime coming up in moments. Ecology Ottawa is joining us on Rogers TV.